Alright, so this is a quick tutorial for the piano part in Shoreline by Diaz Vale. And basically what you have is f uh, four different patterns on your right and left hand, um, a four notes each, and how it starts is your left, your right hand starts on the B flat, the D flat, and the E flat, and it just goes like this. And each pattern after that, it just moves down one note of the scale. So after you have this one, you move down to the A flat, the B flat, and the D flat. And then after that, you move one more down to the G flat, the A flat, and the B flat. And then the F, the G flat, and the A flat. And then there's that extra B flat you hit before you start the second verse. So this is basically what the right hand does the whole time. Just moves down uh, one note. So that's the right hand. Uh, the left hand starts out on the G flat, the A flat, and the B flat as its first pattern. So that just uh, does this pattern first. And then after it does that four times, it jumps down to B natural or C flat, and it does E flat and G flat. So the first two patterns are so I got the C flat, the E flat, and the G flat. After that, for the third pattern, it does um, E flat, F, and G flat. And for the last pattern, it has D flat, E flat, and F. So the four patterns for the left hand uh, sound like this. So together, uh, both the right and left hand, uh, it looks like this. And there's, I think every other time at the end of at the end of the set of patterns, there's a um, a shorter measure than the rest of them, and it goes into the next verse early. But if you listen to that, you can figure out which one it is. Um, and then after the first after the first verse, there's a bridge, and um, it uses the same patterns as the verse. It just switches them around. So the bridge actually starts on the second pattern of the verse. So you have uh, the left hands at the C flat, E flat, and G flat, and the right hand is at the um, A flat, B flat, and D flat. So the bridge starts uh, like this. And you do that for two counts, and then you go to the fourth pattern in the verse, which is the last one you play, which is like this. You got the left hand on the D flat, the E flat, and the F, and the right hand is on the F, the G flat, and the A flat. You do that for two counts, and then you do the third pattern for two counts, which is um, the left hand's on the E flat, the F, and the G flat, and the right hand is on the G flat, A flat, B flat. So, and then back to the fourth pattern again. So the bridge goes like this. So that's the bridge. And then it goes back into the chorus again. 
And those are pretty much all the patterns, and it repeats that, and then one part where it picks up when it kicks in the drums and the electric guitar and everything, it, when you do the bridge the second time around, after you do the two verses, you do the bridge again. Um, after the, after when you do the fourth pattern, so you have... After that part, your left hand, your right hand goes up and it does the C flat, D flat, and E flat. So you have like that, and then your left hand has um, A flat, B flat, and C flat, and that replaces the third pattern in the bridge. So you have, and then you go back to the fourth pattern. So the second bridge uh, goes like this. And so that's basically it. That's the second bridge. I, he plays that every other time, I think. Um, she plays it every time. If you listen, you can figure out which ones are which. Um, that's basically it. Um, it's just some simple patterns to learn. And the song uses all the same patterns. It just uh, switches them for the bridge and the verse. And if you listen to them, you can figure out which ones are which. But I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, just send me a message. And uh, I'll be glad to answer them as quick as I can. And if there's anything else uh, you need to know, if there's something you want me to clarify, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.